guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. This is Sherry here from No Flex Skin Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine Yin reading for January the 2nd until the 9th. So I'm going to be using my deck. Both my decks. So one card from each deck. Whoa! The Page of Pentacles. So that's all about um, planning for the future, planning for a long-term goal. Um, whoa, it has to do with 3D reality. One second. Wow, the cards are really jumping for you guys. So the moon jumped out. So this is all about um, seeing beneath the surface, seeing through illusion, using your intuition, facing your shadow side. Throat chakra just popped up. Communication. Okay, stop it with the cards popping up here. All right. So I'm doing a split divine partnership. my cards for clarifiers. So I have uh, three outstanding readings that I have yet to do. Uh, Terry, Macy, Melissa. Um, I apologize for the delay. I will have those out to you shortly. I really needed to get that cyberbullying video out today so um, it required a lot of contemplation on my part. So I needed to get that done. Now that the, that is cleared, I will complete those readings for you tomorrow. And then I'm going to be taking a little break, um, checking my emails, because I haven't looked at my emails for a couple of weeks now. So I apologize to those of you who are waiting for a response. Um, I usually do that because I don't want to take on the responsibility of uh, any additional readings until I've completed the ones that I've um, committed to already. So I'm giving my little deck a little shuffle as well. All right, so let's begin. So starting with how the feminine views the relationship with the masculine. Wow, Six of Cups. So this is the reunion card. Somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood, previous life and it represents a nostalgic energy. So you're thinking about the masculine. You're thinking about memories. You're thinking about the good times and a desire to reunite. The Seven of Cups and you are ready. So the Seven of Cups is confusion. It is having a lot of choices, um, not knowing which what path to take but you know where you want to go. Okay, You know what your goal is. And the message to the card is to follow your heart. Um, and then the confirmation card for that is leap of faith. You're ready. Take a chance. Um, and enthusiasm. So there is a desire to reunite. You want that. But you don't know how to get there. You know you're ready for it. You're ready to take that leap of faith. And I think that was a similar theme that was in the Twin Flame reading. Oh, my God. Okay, so the, what are you resisting, feminine, is the Nine of Swords. So this is fear, anxiety, worry, guilt, inability to sleep, nightmares, night terror. So you've been consumed by fears, and you are resisting putting an end to this feeling. The masculine got the Ten of Swords in its present position, so he, he is moving away from this kind of energy. So should you. 
destiny and feel healthy. So destiny is uh, the Wheel of Fortune card, so it represents good luck and good fortune coming back to you. Um, it's a completion of a cycle of five to ten years. Um, but this is really having faith in just destiny, you know, not trying to control a situation. Um, if you try to control the wheel, it will crush you. <laughs> so the message here is to feel healthy, look after yourself, um, stop worrying, stop thinking, because destiny has got it under control. Look after yourself. Everything will work out fine. Uh, message from your higher self is the Eight of Cups. Interesting, the masculine got this in his resisting position. So he was resisting moving on. And your higher self is telling you to do the same. So this is um, a spiritual quest, pilgrimage. Um, so it's the beginning um, of a stage in your life. It is leaving Eight Cups behind. Walking away from an emotionally draining situation. Star card. And yes. Hmm. So the star card is wish granted. Yes, your wishes are coming true. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Uh, your higher self is telling you to heal. Feel healthy. Heal yourself. The card, uh, this is the hope card, right? It comes after a very difficult period of time. So maybe some feminines have walked away from um, an emotional situation. And now it is time to soothe your soul. So if you had a question, the answer is yes. And what is in the past position is the Seven of Cups, same card up there. So confusion, not knowing which path to take, follow your heart. Whoa, whoa. Um, okay, I might, I'll have to pause it. It went way under the table. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, the High Priestess, you're just going to have to trust that I don't mess with the cards, okay? Um, and use wisdom, reflection, meditation, uh, regrouping, introspection, time out, renewal. So, um, that's very similar energy to the Hope card um, and to the Hermit. So, in the past, the feminine went within. She used her intuition. The masculine got this as a main card for her present. So she is being guided to take a certain path. And it's being guided. She's being guided by her own intuition and her own wisdom. And, you know, she used that time, that pause to reflect and meditate you know she may have chose to seek solitude in order to find that wisdom within beautiful synchronicity her present position is the night of fire so this is a blast out of the gate now the masculine got the go light in his reading so the universe was asking the masculine to take action and here we see that that action, that drive being represented by the feminine. Um, so this is, like I said, a blast of the gate. It's a movement forward, very passionate, very creative energy, and it's driving her, and it has to do with spirituality. Seven of Wands. And Third Eye Chakra, Psychic Ability, Tap into Your Higher Conscious Wisdom. So, again, similar energy to the High Priestess. So the Seven of Wands is knowing your core values and beliefs and expressing those. Having confidence. Being the king of the hill. Not backing down. So, in the present position, the feminine wants to move forward. She wants to express herself. And, again, she's using her intuitive ability to do just that. Wand is all about spirituality and creativity present position is the nine of pentacles so this is harvest abundance flowing into your life not having to worry about money anymore and now you can splurge a little look after yourself uh, so this is a card of self-love and independence financial freedom 
um, and is also ripeness, radiness. You are ready, right? Um, so it's kind of confirming that energy that in, in the future will, you will come to that realization that you are ready, that you already have everything that you need. There's nothing out there that you need to chase. So it's a very grounded energy, very successful energy. Um, the masculine had the Queen of Pentacles um, and the Yin along with the Four of Pentacles in his fear position. So there's a sense that he feared the feminine's um, power, independence, or coming together with her in, in 3D reality. Wow, the Eight of Cups again. Wow, Twin Flame is near. So the Eight of Cups, same card, that's three times that this card has showed up. So in the future, the feminine, you will be taking your own advice, listening to your intuition, and move away from a negatively draining situation and towards the Twin Flame. The twin flame, your twin flame is near, okay? So it requires um, movement on your part towards a more spiritual path. And that is what is bringing abundance into your life. You made that decision to move towards your twin flame. Don't allow your emotions to hinder you in any way. Okay, so message from the universe is, wow, the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is um, messages of love. Whoa, whoa, gee whiz. <laughs> These cards are so slippery. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, messages of love, a desire to start a new loving relationship. This is the muse. Um, you know, the, the muse inspires artists to paint and become poetic as fuck. So the universe is telling you to express your emotions, to move forward. Oh my God, right? The, uh, the feminine had go after your heart's desire as a message from the universe in the Twin Flame reading. So there you go. Confirmation, synchronicity. The King of Cups and passion and desire, romance. Oh my God, this is the same card that the masculine got. Uh, so the King of Cups is somebody who's very deeply loving. The love is pure, um, unconditional, balanced love. Right. So go after your heart's desire, who is the King of Cups. Who is your passion so I'm just gonna give these a quick shuffle so you guys don't think I'm messing with the cards I'm totally not okay my little deck as well All right, so um, the external environment is the Two of Fire, Two of Wands. So this is expansion, seeing all the possibilities. You know, when you look out that door, you don't see all the barriers and things that are standing in your way. Your decisions and choices aren't based on fear. They're based on spirituality and growth and expansion. So in your external environment there is a door that is wide open the sacral chakra make a wish so the sacral chakra is where your emotions are stored lower chakra number two so there's a blockage here so you feel that there is this opportunity for a different life, one that's more spiritually aligned. You want to move forward towards that, but they, you are afraid of expressing yourself. Spirit is saying, go after your heart's desire, right? Um, you are ready. You know the path already. Follow your heart. But again, there's this emotional blockage here that you need to overcome 
So expand yourself. Now, it is the external environment, right? So this energy could be coming from the masculine. He could be the one who's blocked emotionally, causing you to feel confused. So you got the Make-A-Wish card, guys. So take a moment to think about what you desire um, because that will be brought to you in the future. Now, the masculine got the Ace of Pentacles in the future, so the Ace plus the Nine is Ten. Ten is that completion, you know, that um, manifestation fully into the 3D reality. So, what I see here is that you've already made that wish, and the wish will come true. Yes, now I understand why these two cards showed up like that. And then a crazy synchronicity. Remember, a message from the universe is a star card, which is which wish granted. Yes, your wishes are coming true. Make that wish and believe. The twin flame, a twin flame is near. Use your intuition, right? This, there's a lot of play here on your psychic ability. In this reading, you're very powerful. So what do you fear, feminine? Is the sacral chakra same card? You fear opening up emotionally. You fear walking away from something that's emotionally draining. Um, the seven of cups is also an emotional card. So is the uh, high priestess, the king, the page of cups. So yeah, there's definitely emotional blockage here. The full card. This is forever. Love, imagination, fulfillment, happily, happily, ha sorry, happy family and comfort. Serenity, peace, good fortune. So the full card is the beginning of the fool's journey. It's taking a leap of faith. And we can see that you are ready to take that leap of faith. Right? But you fear taking that leap of faith and because you fear stepping forward moving forward um, you know there's that blockage there that's an emotional blockage that is stopping you from taking that leap of faith and it's like you know this is a twin flame connection you know you know on some level that this is forever um, but you fear that it, maybe it's an illusion or that it won't happen, that the masculine won't be ready. But he got a big go light in his reading. And so the overall energy is, wow, wisdom and solitude. Same kind of energy that we've been seeing in the past. So the, the hermit, somebody who detaches from society, from conditioning, from constraints, from the 3D reality, material reality, goes on a spiritual journey, gains wisdom and knowledge, and you can see that journey, that quest for wisdom, right? But again, your quest is being blocked. Um, yeah, you're in the mind too much, and you're being manipulated emotionally. So this is a good energy to have as an overall, um, and I feel that you are about to make some major realizations, um, make some decisions that are best for you. Turn your attention to yourself. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, detach, right? This is all about detachment for spiritual growth. So don't worry. Destiny has your back. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from Call It Baron Reed, and I'll read that to you as a message from the universe. Clean up. So I'm going to read the oracle and the relationship message. Clean up. Getting to the core of a situation, freedom from burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. The oracle message. 
Ever feel so bogged down by emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? Too much work, overwhelmed, time to clean house. Every item out of place um, natters, I don't know what natters mean, natters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. So the relationship message is time to clear the air. Take a look at your side of the street and say what's on your mind. Wow, and that's what I did with the cyberbullying, right? I, I needed to clear the air. I needed to say some things. Um, the video wasn't about my stalker. It was about being, you know, putting up boundaries, not allowing yourself to be subjected to, to negative energy, draining energy. Um, so sweep away the old stuff so that spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It is the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what's yours and what's not yours. To clean up the relationship, everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what you no longer need. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. There you go. You're resisting, or not resisting, but you need to put down that burden, wash away the dirt, you know, those things that are stopping you. All right, so I hope this helped. Sending you massive love. Cheers.